allows them to be so efficient. Well, it's part of what Terry Morin talked about. We may not be the most athletic team, the most skilled team, but we can take advantage of our size as Chloe Moore McNeil. All max selection helped off the floor after an apparent knee injury. We will try to keep you updated as the game progresses. Meanwhile, Sarah Scalia on the board, who has been Indiana's second leading scorer this season. Scalia, blow by left it short. Meister, second chance, counted in the foul. They're all Mac preseason selection and leading scorer this year. And Scalia scoops up the turnover. Garcelle, that's a three. Indiana started getting defensive stops and some transition points, which have cleaned up some things for them offensively. Scalia brings it down. Holmes counted in the foul. Top five all time in Big Ten history for single game shooting percentage. And the highest shooting percentage this year among D1 teams. Quick bucket there. It's an automatic bucket if you let her right where the old restricted area was. Oh, Sarah Scalia, catch and shoot. Porter being crafty and shifty under the basket. She caught Holmes and got the right angle. Those six points, by the way. Fewest first quarter points allowed in a game this season as Scalia has hit back-to-back -back threes for the Hoosiers. Has not been a friend to Bowling Green to start 0 for 3 for one of the better three-point shooting teams in the country. Scalia, meanwhile, has stayed hot. Eyes in the back of her head, but when she can get down low and make plays from the post position, oh boy. Chloe Moore McNeil heading into conference play after the Christmas break. There's zone block. That's great effort by Kieran McGuff. Ooh. Gorgeous, sir. A little hezzy. Indiana has to find a way to make some more outside shots from someone. Other than Sarah Scalia. I was going to say other than Sarah Scalia, <laughs> but you know what? If the shoe fits, why not? As Kohler drives the lane and set back by Garzon. That was excellent timing by Garzon. A great feed. Holmes pays it off. Delivery courtesy of Chloe Moore McNeil. Awards in the weight room that the team had throughout this offseason. She set a record for the squats, I believe. Nice back cut and good find by Lily Meister. Indiana on a 12 2 run out of the halftime locker room. Step back. Scalia from downtown. This is their third top 16 team they'll have played this month. Played South Carolina earlier in the week at home. Bubbly, outgoing, Garzone, very matter of fact, business like approach. As Holmes gets out of the double team and dishes it to Paris from downtown. Indiana tonight has been paced by Sarah Scalia with 23. Her third game this season with five threes. There is Chloe Moore McNeil, who has her third triple of the night, who hasn't had as efficient a night offensively as we typically see. Great effort nonetheless defensively. Scalia left open. Yes, sir. Six triples for Sarah Scalia. Them out pretty soon. Well, Scalia dangerously close to a season high at 28 in the win against Princeton, sitting on 26 right now. For three. Bang! 29. For Sarah Scalia. You know, her numbers were not as impressive, obviously, as they have been through the first 11 games this season. Part of that was coming off the bench. But even last year, all of her teammates said, we have six starters. And now when you're uh, stronger as a shooter, she doesn't get tired as easily, so she can shoot a lot longer throughout the course of a 40-minute period. There she is again, catch and shoot. Butts it in. Do you think people forgot about Grace Berger? They must have. <laughs> It was a draft pick for Indiana. Right, you lose a pro. That will do it from Assembly Hall. Indiana caps off their non-conference slate with a big time home win, 84-35 over the Bowling Green Falcons out of the match.